everyone. My name is International Master William Pascal, and today we're going to take a look at a lecture I've created entitled The Not So Solid Karo Khan. Well, when I was learning chess, I think one of my first defenses was the Karo Khan, you know, which starts after e4, c6. And you know, chess primers will teach you basic things about, you know, the chess openings. Certain ones are very aggressive, dynamic, you know, hypermodern, solid. And you know, I kind of grew up chess-wise, always thinking that the Karakan and the French were the most solid, you know. Maybe that's not true. You know, I'm thinking more these days that, you know, E4, E5 is probably the most solid way to play. Because when you play the French or the Karakan, um, it's, it's very conservative. But, you know, I think having the space that you get after E4, E5 fundamentally makes your position more solid. Uh, actually, I think playing things like the French and the Karakan, especially the Karakan, it's actually not that solid because you get a somewhat passive position. And against a player like Hikaru Nakamura, who's so so good at attacking and, and exploiting space advantages, um, I think that actually you should, you, know, you should be best off playing something like E4, E5. And if you look at his results, probably statistically, he probably has the hardest time against e5 when he plays e4. But anyway, Mamajar, you know, his repertoire, I guess, now is the Karo Khan. He plays the Karo Khan. It wasn't the first, or it wasn't the only game in this tournament where he played the Karo Khan. This is the game Nakamura against Mamajara from the 2014 Gashima Memorial, which is just finished, and it was won by Magnus Carlsen. Anyway, this is a game in the early middle rounds. And Naka plays d4, and Mamajarov plays d5. And then, you know, I always used to think that the, the Panov, you know, where you kind of open lines, like Larry Christensen, uh, well-known Grandmaster, who I played a lot with, for example, you know, plays a lot of exchanging and c4 um, to open lines. But, you know, attacking players don't necessarily need to open lines right away. This move, which Naka plays, is probably the most successful move in modern times against the, uh, against the Karo Khan. The space advantage is, you know, is just there. I mean, there's no disputing it. Uh, when you exchange pawns, you actually help black a little bit by bringing a pawn to the center. The C pawn on C6 to D5. I think, you know, opening the lines is one thing, but this is a more substantial advantage, more lasting advantage to play E5. Shirov, Kasparov uh, have, you know, done a lot of successful work on this. Uh, anyway, so bishop f5, I mean, the nice thing the bishop gets out, but sometimes that bishop actually is something of a liability. It gets kicked around. It can be kind of a target. So it's not a walk in the park just because you get your bishop outside the pawn chain. Knight f3, shorts variation, and this has kind of become one of the main lines. There are many, many variations for white, you know, including like h4. Um, but, but knight f3 has kind of established itself as, I would say, you know, the main one. So e6 and bishop e2 and, you know, Hikaru playing a very solid setup. What, you know, made me think a lot about this game and choosing this game was because the one time I ever lost against Hikaru myself um, was like one of the only times I've ever played the French defense. And also in, against the French in that game, he chose the advance variation. And I tried to play solid, but, you know, the space advantage ended up coming back to haunt me and Hikaru generated some threats in the late middle game, but, you know, I felt like I wasn't in my element, and he was, and I kind of see that happening here against Mamadyarov. Um, C5, now this move is uh, not the only way for black to play. I mean, I don't think this is necessarily the most solid, the immediate C5. A little risky to open immediately, but now this theory has been pretty well developed in the last 10 years or so. It was, 10 years ago, it was kind of an open question, but um, Bishop E3, developing a piece, putting pressure on c5, and now queen b6. And we had the first kind of poison pawn theme here going on. And, you know, this is pretty ambitious black setup, I would say. You know, he's got his king in the center, whereas white is, is one step away from castling. The quite provocative variation chosen by Mamadjarov. And then, of course, you're not going to see Hikaru, you know, worrying about his b2 pawn. So knight c3. But anyway, this is kind of modern theory, so both sides are still in their book. But knight c3, and the idea is if you grab the pawn, there's this move knight b5, which is very thematic, and it covers all the squares for the queen, and the queen is suddenly in danger of getting trapped. So you don't want to 
You don't want to go there um, right away. And black plays knight c6. And then here, you know, I don't know the theory for this particular variation. My first guess would be knight a4. And that is a line. You could play knight a4 and then queen check. Uh, very similar to a French classical variation. Um, c3, but I, th I think I finally came to the conclusion that white doesn't get much here. After these moves, like c takes d, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, it looks like knight e7, and the knight will come to c6, and if b4, something like that, the queen can retreat safely back to c7. So I'm not convinced that white has too much here, and I think Hikaru, his preparation is good because he doesn't do that. Instead, he plays d takes c, which is, you know, kind of surprising in a way, because you don't want to generally give up the center and help black bring a piece out, but he is trading um, the bad bishop for the good bishop. You know, black's on um, impeded bishop. That's opposite color of his pawn chain. Bishop takes c5. Bishop takes c5, queen takes c5. See, like, Botvinnik play the white side of the French um, Tarash or something. He would strive to trade those dark-squared bishops with white because 